Um, I'm Matthew Johnson Harris. Um, I have been coming to Middle Church since 2010. Um, and uh, I also work in theater as a director choreographer. And um, whenever I'm approached by my colleagues and they ask me, what religion are you? I say, I'm a person who connects through source and that original thread was through evangelical Christianity, but now I understand that people can connect to source through many different ways, as long as they're centering themselves in love. Wow. See, that is how a middle church member responds. They're usually like, huh? <laughs> what did you just say? What did that mean? And then they're like, okay, so then why do you choose to go to church? with all the horrible things that the church is doing on a daily basis and the legislation they're trying to pass, blah, 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 blah. And I say, okay, as a director, when I get a script, I look at the script and I have my lived experience and my vision then portrayed to the audience, mm -hmm. right? The same way a pastor every Sunday puts on a production and they use the Bible as their script and they use their lived experience or whatever agenda they want to then be portrayed out to the audience through the pulpit. You just haven't found the right production house and thank God. <laughs> I found producer and director and Reverend Jackie Lewis. to tell stories in a way that resonate with me. Yes. And then artists are like, okay, I get that. Yes. I understand that, you know? Um, in 2016, I started the Mosaic um, concert series. And um, a mosaic essentially is a bunch of pieces of broken glass or different materials that are different colors, different sizes and shapes coming together and in their brokenness, creating something beautiful. And what I remember right after Trump being elected was all of my different friends who represented all different marginalized groups and different lived experiences were all hurting in their own ways. But what we tend to do is we find affinity groups, right? We go, okay, gay people, we over here, what we gonna do, right? <laughs> Black people, we over here, what we gonna do, right? And we all go into our collective spaces. And I needed, for me, a space where we could connect in the middle. And that didn't exist in the arts world yet. And so um, I quote Beyonce a lot, so get ready for it. Uh, <laughs> I was watching one of the many Beyonce documentaries and she said, if what you want or need doesn't exist, are you brave enough to create it? And I called Christina Fleming, who was the communication director at the time. And within five days after the election, we had our first Mosaic production. And... <laughs> And now, seven years later, 13 productions later, um, we hit our seven-year anniversary, and um, we're doing a holiday concert, which will be tomorrow night, where all different types of Broadway stars and um, television stars will be coming together to raise money for Middle Collegiate Church. Usually in December, we do an interface. Yes, you can clap for that. <laughs> <laughs> Usually every December we do an um, interfaith concert, and that first concert was inspired by Trump's Muslim band um, back in 2016. So I was like, okay, how about we do a holiday concert where we invite our Muslim brothers and sisters and non-binary friends, and our Jewish brothers and sisters and non-binary friends, and our Christian brothers and sisters and non-binary friends, and we read scripture from all of our sacred texts about light so we can see the intersection within the divide and figure out how we can work together collectively and enjoy the season. And so we did it 2016, 2017, 2018, um, and then, you know, Corona came. <laughs> Shut us down, but we also had four digital events. And also during that time period, on December 2020, um, we lost our church, the home of the Mosaic series. And I, I wanna really lean into how important Middle Church was to the Mosaic series. First off, anything I asked for, they found money to do. So um, they paid for the band, they paid for security, they um, did what I was called in our social justice hour. So after the concert, what made uh, Mosaic concerts different is that we would invite people from the organizations, our volunteers, or, or people that were deeply involved to be a part of the concert. And then for an hour afterwards, there would be kind of like a table set up where you could volunteer to learn more information. Middle not only opened their doors for that extra hour, paid the staff for the extra hour, they provided food, they provided wine, they provided all types of really amazing goodies to keep people engaged 
stage so they could then have that next step of just not just enjoying amazing entertainment, but also the activism step that was very important. And tomorrow you'll hear from some of the concert goers who came and then were inspired and are now part of those organizations. So that extra thread was able to happen because of Middle Church. And so I say all of this to say that in a world where scary things happen every day and the impulse is to find your people, how about we look and realize that we all are each other's people, that we all are connected? Because you will be surprised the things that you can justify through your own lens of generational trauma. And throw some bad theology on top of it, and it can get real ugly real quick. And what I hope for anyone that's in this space that comes here every Sunday is that you realize that what happens here at Middle Church every Sunday is so special and so unique that this little boy who grew up in Texas and listened to horrible theology every Sunday telling me that I was going to hell um, just needed to find the right church home. And I did, and I hope that that doesn't, I don't know what I'm trying to say, let me see. Give me a beat. She's coming. Damn it, I should have wrote it. Oh, I'm sorry. I think God cares more about cursing than he does, you know. Anyway, wait, wait. What I'm trying to say is, in a culture and a world obsessed with darkness, we have to uplift the places where we see the light. And Middle Church has been that for me. So... I want to invite my friends, my sibling, who has done more Mosaic concerts than any person like on the list. Like I think you do, you've done every single one, except for like one of them. Yeah, you did, you did all like, you did like 12, I think. There was no two you didn't do. No, you did. You did Aisha's and Alyssa's because you sang background for them. I, Madge has done every single Mosaic concert except for one. And I'm so blessed by their presence in the world and the song that they are going to sing, which is People Get Ready. And so People Get Ready as Madge approaches. Join our movement in so many different ways. Join us tomorrow night by scanning the QR code on the back of your bulletin. And we hope to see you there.